We have a little bit of a creek here to walk up. This follows a fault. So we're gonna see if we can locate anything in this creek. There's lots of veins and stuff, copper sulfides, iron pyrite, that is filed right down below. So today we're gonna walk up the creek a bit because we haven't yet. First sample here, a float sample. Contains obvious mineral. We'll see what's inside. So you have quartz, and this right here is schist. You have calcopyrite up there, pyrite over here. Mostly a coarse grain pyrite. But there is some nice calco in there. For sure. You can see it's still a schistose rock, it's not as well formed. But the rock over here, falling out of this bank here, is more like what you see down below. So obviously the fault is running alongside here, just out of sight. We'll see what we can find. We're gonna look even farther. So we know our fault is running somewhere along in here, a bit farther in, but this is really interesting. You can see that right there and all up in here. This looks like blue clay. So this was just pulled out of there. That's iron sulfides for sure. But look at this. I think there's definitely pyrite and maybe some sphalerite in there. Definite clay though. Just so deteriorated and broken down. Yeah, there's definite mineralization in that. That is very interesting. So you can see over there, about 15, 20 meters away. Up here, it's oxidized and we found a quartz vein. Similar rock type, similar sulfides as in the blue clay. There's definite Pyrite mineralization in this and uh, there's a bit of calcopyrite as well. I'd say you got a couple percent in there. So there's lots of samples we're hammering out of there. So we could have a giant quartz vein. Most likely uh, VMS deposited. We got lots of samples here. Look at that. Very nice. We don't know how far this vein goes in, but it looks like it's pretty wide. By the looks of that blue clay down there, that was exposed over about a meter and a half. So most likely this is a similar width. Some nice looking mineral. So to me this looks like it's BMS deposited. You can just see the distinct layering in there. Such a similar rock type to our other BMS deposit on this property as well.
Looks like this is running all the way from that new blue clay deposit we found all the way up and it's exposed here. So it's exposed here, down there, and now we have it exposed up here. Let's go check this out. Over there it's exposed, over here. Some good quartz in here and mostly pyrite, but looks like there's a little calico pyrite. So that's a pretty long vein structure we have here and I have no doubt that this gets quite a bit bigger at depth. It's exposed up there as well. Unfortunately we can't really get past this, it's a little difficult. So we're going to have to go out this way. There's just too much sticks and debris and there's a little bit of a waterfall up there we can't get to. So the last spot we were at was that tree up there. It's 300 meters away from where we are. And we started all the way down in here. So we went all the way up to there. And that vein is exposed in six different areas over about 30 meters. And uh, some nice mineralization in there. And then back in here, I don't know if you saw the video from the other day a few days ago we posted one that was all the way down in here and then if you go down below is where our blue clay deposit is and that has Kuroko type VMS um, so definitely a promising area we got really good mineralization going all the way up this canyon for about uh, 400 meters so could be a nice vein structure there before we head out I thought I'd show these this is actually found on the same fault line as the canyon and where we just were. This is actually a high grade VMS ore. You got really good lead, really good zinc, bit of copper, average about 20 grams of gold per ton and about 200 grams of ton silver. And this is from a past producing mine on strike with this area that we just looked at we're about 750 meters away from that so this is kind of the stuff that we're looking for because this is uh some really nice ore so that's it hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next video